What is your will, my master? Hey, good morning, Mako. Uh, quick demo video for you for your custom etched flagship by Vaults of Valhalla. Um, he named this Patience, and it's in a water theme all across. If you could see that there, I know my camera really won't do it justice, but you've seen the nice pictures that he's taken, and then I gave you some close ups as well. Um, install with a Prop EB2. You've got uh, CC Sabers in here for your lit PCB. This is a two button setup, but what I like to do on these flagships sometimes is I'll make your main switch here. Um, I did make this an aluminum switch since this is a mix between aluminum and brass. I just thought it was a nice contrast here as well. So that, that stayed aluminum. Um, and then I like to come over here and I'll put a little hidden brass tactile switch right here for your auxiliary. So it doesn't stick out very much at all. I'm trying to show you. I mean, it's even, you know, you can barely see it sticking out right there. But it's, it's very easy to press with your finger. Um, how you get to your chassis, you just want to unscrew your handle. Uh, because this is a water themed saber, um, I got like this turquoise blue translucent resin and I, um, I modeled and printed your chassis out of this. And then I put uh, 10 different or two different 10 pixel accent strips on each side. So you got a, a 10 pixel strip here. Um, you've got a 10 pixel strip here. You got a removable battery set up here. Uh, 28 millimeter smuggles out post elite speaker. And then here's your profi board. Uh, the profi board is glued down to the shelf, but you can get to your SD card and your micro USB from here. You never have to move the board. Um, so I do tend to do that sometimes, especially on these uh, resin chassis. I can't really make a press fit or I might break the chassis material. It's not as strong as PLA safe, right? Um, but everything is working well. Um, and that's that's how I program the board. I just take a pair of tweezers and, and pop the SD card right out. And then you have a little opening here on the bottom too to assist you if you need to put a finger in there or something. Um, but that's what you got going on. There are some designs on the chassis that are not going to pick up on camera, but you'll see those when you get it in person. Uh, just some water waves. There is a Smuggler's Outpost emblem for me. Um, it says Vaults of Valhalla on one side and Solo Sabres on the other. Uh, this does have the stock font package on it, so I figure you'll be doing your own thing. But on the first font, I went through um, and I programmed these strips to do something different when the saber's off. So that way you can see what it does. And then the rest of the sound fonts, um, the chassis will match the blade when the blade is on. Okay, but we'll put a battery in here right now so you can see what I'm talking about. It is a very tight snap fit into this chassis. Uh, so you wanna take care when you're putting your battery in. That's why I made the spring side or the negative side of the battery over here by the saber so that you can put some oomph in it, and press down against the spring before you snap your battery in and you won't be pressing this way. Um, it's just better because everything's pressing up against the saber and you won't break anything. Uh, this is on a timer though. So if you decide not to turn the saber on, um, see just like that, it will time out on you. So we'll turn it back off. And then you can see what it's doing when the saber is off. And then when we turn it on, it starts going the other way. It does react to auxiliary being pressed or blade lockup. Now I did take a uh, swing on off the saber. So you'll have to hit the switch to turn the saber on. But um, on the rest of everything, or I'm sorry, but there is still twist off on here. So you can twist the saber off. We'll go to another sound font. And just so I can show you real quick that the chassis will match the blade. So you got a solid blue blade and the chassis will be blue, just like that. And we'll put the handle on. Slides right on like it should. 
you will need to tighten it up to get your etch to line up with your switch. Uh, one, one cool thing that Carl did, well, there's a lot of cool stuff that Carl did to the saber, but uh, on your handle right here, this, this particular jewel right in the middle of your etch, there is a hole drilled through the handle and that, that, that uh, jewel is adhesed down to the handle. But because I lit up the chassis, you get light up on that jewel. You see that? Smooth gray. You got fire blade here. And you can see that unstableness in your crystal. Um, yeah, so we will throw a blade in this guy real quick. The saber takes a one inch diameter nail pixel blade and your blade retention is right here. Smooth fuzz. Still light up right here. There, you might notice a color or two um, not showing up as well through your jewel because the jewel is blue. Um, I forget which color it is that doesn't shine through very well, but we'll go through them here in a second. I think it's green. We got a blue one stable here that's showing up. Uh, it's showing up real nice on your crystal. Auxiliary over here is very easy to press. Trying to find a rainbow blade. And there's the rainbow blade. One thing I just noticed that I didn't notice before is that Carl also drilled out the holes for your three gems on each shroud. So these guys and these guys over here. So you do get shine through on those as well. If you can see that on that side and then over here as well. So that's really cool. You got good flash on flash. Blade lock up. And then we'll take the blade out. And we'll look at the uh we'll look at the chassis on the rainbow blade. I know that was something you were asking me about to make sure that it had it on there. Let's take this off real quick. So yeah, you got a nice rainbow blade or a nice rainbow feature on your chassis as well as your blade, right? So everything's working like it should there. Um, when you're all done, you can come over here from the positive side by the speaker. Um, if you can't get it out with your finger, then what I've been using is just like the back of my tweezers. Some, something like that, right? Show it where you could see it. If I could just come over here pop out the battery just like that because it is a super snug fit. I wanted to make sure the battery didn't fall out on you. Um, but that is basically your flagship. Um, let me know if you got any questions and if not, I will try to get this out in the mail today. All right. Thank you.